What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to GazetteSports.com and the Press Telegram. It's Mike, and this high school soccer video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company, the perfect place to cater your team's next event, something they've been doing in Long Beach for over 30 years. It's the Derby, Long Beach Wilson, Long Beach Poly. These two teams have won the last 20 more league titles, and Wilson coach Dalton Kaufman, first-year Poly coach Chris Moraga, certainly both have their eyes set on that prize again in 2016-17. As usual with this rivalry, it's calling all alums. The winter break bringing back a ton of former Jack Rabbits and Bruins that have been in these highlights in the past, but we've got this game to play right now. It was the Emily Canal show in the first half, but the Arizona commit couldn't find the net, nor could the rest of her teammates. Jack Rabbits kind of struggling to score so far this season, and uh, you see that again in this game. Canal is frustrated, even on uh, set pieces that the Jack Rabbits were able to earn. Not too much to make Wilson goalie Bree Torres or the rest of the Bruins defense squirm. Stephanie Amesqua for the Bruins here with the takeaway. And it's going to bounce out to Abby Ross, the shortest player on the field with the biggest moment of the game. High five. Puts it up over Wilson keeper Luz Lopez. And that is quite a score for the senior captain for the Bruins in the 20th minute. Bruins going up 1-0. And with a goalie like Torres, who is bossing the back line, she really commanded this game from the net. They're feeling good. Another great chance here for the freshman, Kristen Berry Lopez, with the stop. Then Sarah Pilster is going to clear it off the back line. To the second half, McClinton's going to move up top from her usual spot on the back line. Polly trying to make something happen. Wilson trying to put this game away as Lopez, with the very physical play, she would stay in the game. And Torres just playing center field for Wilson. Why bother my defenders? I'll just go track that thing down myself. She really struck the right balance in the game. She knew exactly when to come out. She played everything pretty much perfectly. She certainly earned her clean sheet. But a furious Jackrabbit rally in the last 15 minutes had Dalton Kaufman admitting he was a little bit worried. Torres and the rest of the defense able to make all of the plays that Wilson needed, however, to protect the home turf. And Polly certainly not doing a ton to terrify him. McClinn here teed this one up off of Knaus, but Torres is on it. And then this might have been the one as Knaus, but just a little too much hook in that fish to land it as it goes wide right. Last real chance for Polly here, but Torres. One last save. She earns that clean sheet with some great goalie play. And Wilson is fired up. Polly has won the last three more league titles. And the Bruins feel like this blue-collar Wilson team might be the one to take it back. Certainly looks that way at the beginning of the season as Wilson opens the competitive part of the more league schedule with a 1-0 win over Long Beach Polly. These two teams will play again at Polly on January 26th. We'd like to thank all of our sponsors, including Papalucci's. A hey, great place to eat down on 2nd Street. Plenty of more league soccer to come. If it ever stops raining, <laughs> we will be here for all that action. And, of course, that second wilson Polly matchup on the 26th. For all that action, you got to keep it right here at GazetteSports.com and the Press Telegram.